Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dia and welcome back to some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So as you guys know, I haven't uploaded this in probably a couple months, at least. I think the last video I did on this was actually is either on the Karak Point 300, the Modern Warfare 2 sniper that's a piece of shit, or I did the Major 1 predictions for the event. And we've had Major 2 and everything, and I'll, I'll most likely be doing a Major 3 video. And I took a break from doing YouTube, which is actually what I'm going to be discussing. I didn't take a break from doing YouTube, but I took a break from doing it as my main thing. And here is why. Um, it's actually something something I'm gonna discuss. I'm gonna be just be jumping into like 10v10 mosh pit and just calling it a day. I'll be using the moors. I'm kind of just leveling it right now just to see what's going on. And I'm trying to use it as much as I can while it's kind of kind of busted. Today I just kind of want to discuss why I took a backseat from YouTube and I focused on other forms of content like streaming and why I'm actually gonna be doing YouTube a lot more now. The I'll just start off with the obvious. I love doing content. I love I genuinely do. I go home and I'm all, like I'm always thinking of what I'm going to do next in terms of am I going to be streaming and am I going to be recording? Like what what is my goal I guess going forward? To just kind of say it outright, I very much do not think streaming is the right thing for me mentally. No, I'm not worried that I'm going to be you know shut down from content and I'm going to think content is something that I'll stop doing. As far as I can tell, I'll be doing content pretty much until like the the quote unquote the day I drop. It's for lack of a better term. I'm very much like I'm kind of dedicated to this. Um, I've chosen to do this over a lot of other things in my life and I don't really want to stop. So I'm hoping that you know this really does work out because I'm putting my all into this. Oh, hold on. I'm kind of, kind of cooking right now. With, with content and everything, I'm just kind of always thinking about what I want to do next and what I really want to achieve. And bottom line is, I want to have fun while I live the rest of my life. And I genuinely believe that not only can content, like, pay my bills and it can, like, you know, make others happy in my life. It will also make me very happy. You know, I come home, I get to play video games and edit content for you guys and see like, you know, the positive and the negative reactions. And I don't have to worry about doing something I don't want to do. Like, I don't want to wake up at whatever time it is at like 8 a.m. and work for someone else till four or five o'clock. You know, worry about, oh, am I going to get fired? Is there enough of this? Am I going to be able to, et cetera, et cetera. There's like, you know, the, the bunch of things that come with just overall having a job. I'm just not particularly interested in any of that. I'm not particularly interested in having, like, that type of commitment in my life. And I'm, so I'm always thinking about ways I'm going to make content. Now, to address the YouTube side of it, I'm not the best editor. I think, I think I'm really bad at editing. I think I'm very much just overall not the guy to go to for editing things and stuff like that. However, one thing I do love is the reception on the videos. My videos don't get a lot of feedback. They don't, I don't get tens of thousands of views like other people, which by the way, thank you guys to everybody who checked out yesterday's video on why I'm considering at least putting Demon Souls down for a while. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll make sure to put a link in the description. Ooh, flat. And I'll make sure that it, there's a link for it also at the end of the video. Well, I didn't continue that feedback. I got a little quad though. It's cool. But I don't feel like I create videos like other people. I I feel like I create not like, I don't want to say videos like other people and mean things like, oh, well, you know, I could just do this or I could just do that. I mean, like when I say I create videos like other people, videos that get all these views. Now I understand that'll come with time. But I, I'm willing to put in the time. But that co that again goes to like my streaming. I've streamed far longer than I've tried to make YouTube videos. I actually started off just like most people. I, back in like, I don't know, fucking back in Black Ops 2, I tried making YouTube videos. Tried doing all that. But I never took it really serious. So what I did is I started creating Twitch streams. I started trying to stream. I started seeing that, oh, there's an opportunity in streaming. And there's a big community for it. Maybe I can give it a shot. And so I was on and off for literally several years. I don't know how many how how many times I've gone off streaming and back onto it. I've just not I've never done it consistently. But when I find myself in this YouTube groove, I guess you could call it, I'm very much like I 
you know, very dedicated. I very just go all in. And I'm like that with most things in life. But for some reason, I was never like that with my streaming. I was never all in. I think it's because when it comes to streaming, I care too much about the numbers. And that coming from I'm a very you know, low obviously a low view content creator when i put out a video i feel like i've actually like done something i feel like i'm like okay like i can actually sit back and i can like all right now i can focus on other things because i feel like i've accomplished something but when it comes to streaming i don't feel like i've accomplished anything i feel like i've sat down and just played games for like three or four hours and tried to create zero content and that is something i've never been able to like teach myself with, with this with YouTube though, I definitely feel like I've created something and I feel like I've worked towards my goals and my dreams and my ambitions. Now I will say that I'm gonna try and stick to what I know, which is live comms and stuff, which is what you're gonna expect. And also it allows my life to be more flexible at the moment just because I have a lot of moving parts. I don't know if I will be going back to streaming anytime in the near future. I'm really excited to actually make YouTube videos and make YouTube content again because the more I edited, the more I've come to just like and enjoy creating my own videos creating my own i created my own thumbnail in yesterday's video for i haven't created a thumbnail since a modern warfare 2 a couple of my modern warfare 2 videos i ended up like making the thumbnails for those and i thought it was fun so i'm really happy and really excited to try and try this again it just i don't know yesterday kind of reminded me why i want to make youtube videos i i enjoy like the bottom line obviously is i get to play video games and make something of it and that's obviously fucking amazing but i also i don't have to like listen to anybody i don't have to sit there wake up at nine o'clock or wake up at eight o'clock or whatever time i have to wake up go into a job i don't care about listen to people like for lack of a better term don't care about and just do all this i get to just have fun I appreciate, you know, you guys who check out my videos. I appreciate you guys who allow who allow me to, like, kind of see this as, like, a, something that can come true one day. And, you know, again, thank you so much. Like, this kind of piggybacks on me. Thank you guys for yesterday for... My... Okay. Uh, about yesterday's video on how that much support it got and how much I really, like, appreciate it. And I'm thankful I am for it. So, thank you guys. Thank you to each and every single one of you who view my videos, like, even subscribe. I'm just beyond thankful. So, thank you guys. Yeah, this Moors is so unbelievably consistent. I don't know if you guys can see it because of where my webcam is. But, uh, yeah, yeah, you can see him chatting. I also can't do any of the fun web webcam stuff because every time I try and use the camera, it starts lagging horrendously, but OBS is fine. So until I get that figured out, which I hope is today, I'm gonna be just doing videos kind of like this with a still webcam and everything and hope you guys really enjoy it. Yeah, that's just kind of something I wanted to go over as to why I've been so inconsistent with YouTube and streaming and such. I do plan to be sticking out YouTube for the long run. I think after going back and forth for a better, for the better half of the past year, I think I've kind of found my home. I think I kind of found where I'm comfortable and where I feel like I'm succeeding and I'm doing something. And that's gonna be it just for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video. It really helps the channel grow. It also lets you know that you're enjoying the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Till next time, this is Dia signing off. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.